Good morning, live weather blog meteorologist Bob Acanfrio with today's tropical update for Wednesday, July 14, 2010. The tropics remain nice and quiet today. Since the tropics are quiet, I'll kind of go over some weather in the eastern and central United States a little more in depth this morning, and then we'll go over some tropical maps, and I'll let you know what I see is going to happen in the next couple weeks. Um, what we see today is we have this um, frontal system slowly moving off the eastern United States today. This has been heavy rainfall for, you know, around the Philadelphia area, New Jersey. This will extend into uh, New England today. A lot of rainfall, flood watches, warnings in this area. Stay tuned to uh, live weather blogs during the day for the latest updates on that. We see this trough of a uh, little shortwave energy here moving across the south here. Um, this will uh, create some heavy storms today for southeastern Georgia, northern Florida, possibly extending into central Florida. So this area is juicy right in here. And this, um, we should see some heavy storms erupt in this area, some isolated severe weather. South Florida also getting into the act with some storms here as a little trough here moves from east to west across south Florida. They will get a little break tomorrow in this area, and then we'll have a little upper level energy move across the uh, southern Florida here from um, just north of the islands, and this will bring another round of some thunderstorms for them on Friday. The big story today will be this um, frontal system up here, very strong jet stream for this time of year, and this is creating a, actually a big severe outbreak possible for um, Minnesota and uh, extending into Wisconsin today. We have a strong upper jet diving into here, nice strong low level jet with that moist uh, south, uh, south flow right in here. And this is a recipe for some tornadoes right in this area here. I'll show you what the Storm Prediction Center says for that area today. And here's the Storm Prediction Center and they have a moderate risk of severe weather right in here, southeastern Minnesota into Wisconsin here. You could already see some um, tornado watches in effect, and this is going to be the area that we're going to have to watch for tornadoes today. It's a um, pretty potent area here. Make sure if you're in this area, make sure you have your weather radios tuned on and um, for your severe weather today. And this is for tomorrow, and you see the slight risk moving east. So Chicago, Detroit, possibly into Cleveland. This will be your area for tomorrow. And then this area is going to swing eastward for Friday and this will cover this um, New York, Pennsylvania, New England area. I'm not f sure how far south the severe weather will get. I don't think it's really going to get into the Philadelphia, Washington, Baltimore area. This is going to kind of clip to the north here. And then starting over the weekend we're going to do this all over again. This is for the weekend right in here and then we have early next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as another system, strong jet, strong disturbance moves just like this across the northern tier again. So definitely a um, very active pattern for this time of year across the north here, and we, sh we could see some couple days of severe weather here through early next week. Okay, so back to the tropics quickly here, and really nothing to talk about. I showed you that we have this upper low right in here. This will move across south Florida on Friday. After this moves by, um, South Florida may get into this. There's a lot of dry and um, dusty Saharan air layer right in this area here, and they could get clipped by this on Saturday and Sunday. So it could be a dry, dusty uh, weekend for South Florida. Tropical wave here moving into Central America, not going to develop. Another tropical wave here not going to develop. Looking off the coast of Africa, nice healthy wave moved off the coast of Africa. You see it's kind of dissipating as it gets into this drier air. But again, signs that, you know, we're getting there. Cape Verde season's going to start start ramping up here. Like I said, I believe um, last week of July we might see a couple Cape Verde systems out here that we're going to have to watch. But this is showing signs that uh, everything's starting to shift north and um, the season will begin, start to begin soon out here. Um, wind shear map today, again, about the same thing, not conducive for development. We have a band of high wind shear running right through here, through the um, kind of little less over the Western Caribbean, but mostly through the Caribbean here and out this way um, eastward. It's starting to lift a little north, and this is the change we'll kind of see as we go into the next couple weeks as we start looking out towards the um, eastern and central Atlantic as this band of wind shear begins to move north. And this will open up the stages for development out in the main development region out here. And our Saharan air layer today, uh, courtesy of Sims here, 
He said we had this big batch that came off earlier this week. It's already almost to Florida. This is the first batch. Then we kind of had a little bit of lull. And then yesterday or day before, we had another big batch start to roll off right in here. So this will continue. As long as the um, Azar Bermuda high is uh, strong, it's going to continue blowing this dust. And we should see this um, at least through next week, um, this continuation of dust. And I'll show you that the models are looking like they want to uh, weaken this Azor Bermuda high a little bit uh, about 10 to 14 days from now. So we should start seeing the changes. But definitely it's going to be a um, a pattern of no development out here at least through through most of the week. We're gonna, we'll have to continue to look for development in the Western Caribbean if we get anything. And the only model showing development in the next 7 to 10 days is the no gaps model showing a system developing again in the Southwestern Caribbean by Sunday. So if anything is really going to develop and it's not a I'm not really that uh confident on it but if anything is going to develop it will be in this western and southwestern caribbean area um early next week so that'll be the area to continue to watch for in the short term and this is the uh, euro model this is 10 days out this is valid for next saturday the 24th and you can see the continuation of uh weakening this azor bermuda high bringing more of a troughier pattern across the eastern united states this model has been consistently doing this again this is 10 days out things could change but just showing you as this Bermuda Azor high weakens less dust will start rolling off the African coast and we could start seeing like I said I'm thinking things are going to start ramping up out here on um, the last week of July and just comparing longer range models here this is the GFS ensemble model and uh, again it definitely it's the same period this is valid for Saturday the 24th it, it weakens the Azor Bermuda high again not as much as the Euro model, but it does weaken it a bit. So that's the model differences there. And finally, one last map of interest. This is the uh, sea surface temperature anomalies. This is the um, how above or below average the uh, sea surface temperatures are. You can see uh, La Nina well in effect out here. We still see that little bit of coolness from uh, Alex and Tropical Depression too out here. Again, this is relative to normal. The waters are still warm out here. This is just normal. But Take a look at this off the eastern United States and New England. Look at how above normal those temperatures are. We don't want to see that if we get a hurricane up in this area um, later in the year. Uh, main development region still above normal. Things have come down just a slight bit as uh, the trade winds have definitely picked up uh, during the month of June. But it's still above normal out here and definitely things are warm enough for, for development out in this region. Um, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have another tropical update again uh, tomorrow for you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.